Hi everyone, today is Friday, January 30th, and they've come out with a new pick here of Katy Perry for the Super Bowl coming up. She's going to be singing the halftime show. See her right here? And as we keep showing on our channel, the, the symbolism of the end of the age is all around us. Can anybody see the alien beast right on her shirt? Katy Perry is representing the great whore of the Bible the mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth, the woman. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. In the Bible, she gets burned with fire. Ten nations are going to burn up the USA and the Vatican, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. These shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. That represents Katy Perry right there. We're going to show the beast right on her shirt. Now this is the hard part to realize. Jesus is going to save her. That's what's going to happen into the Bible. Even though she burns up, all the prophets and all the saints of the blood that she has drank will be set free, and they will all ascend. And she is going to be reborn at that point. She represents the same thing in the Bible as when the Jews brought the adulterous whore over to Jesus. And they kept saying, you know, what are you going to do? They wanted her to kill him, wanted him to kill her. And Jesus said, Let he who has no sin cast a first stone. And they all dropped their rocks and ran away. And then Jesus took the woman by the hand and picked her up and said, Where are your accusers? And she said, Nowhere. There were no accusers. Because in the Bible, in Revelation 12, the great whore actually represents the woman right here also that gives birth to everybody through here and it represents that she gets redeemed again and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness she will go right through the fire as I keep showing on on our evidence and that means the that means the end and the birth of everything coming through there well we're going to show that right here has anybody seen the alien yet come on let's see it right there see the beast this is the beast of the book of Revelation this alien right there how can we prove this well I was woken up by God several years ago and I map out all the earth and show how the signs just as in in the Bible God predicted that everything would be shown right on the earth we're in Washington DC right here this is going to show her See, District of Columbia, Washington. She's right here, riding the beast, picking out the prophets and the saints. See how the beast looks? She's right here, riding the beast, right here in Washington. Guys, you should know that that means that the USA is going to be burned with fire. And if you're not with Jesus Christ, you're going to be burned up. If you're with Jesus, don't worry about it. It's all good. See her sitting right here, riding the beast? And then she has this person right here. This is called a prospect. This is when she's looking for the prophets and the saints. That's what she's doing. See right here? Trinity. For those that know the Matrix movie, she also represents Trinity from the Matrix movie, looking for the One. Why would she be looking for the One? Because the One is the wings of the great eagle for her to fly away when she's burned up that's the birth of the next age this hangs in the United Nations it shows everything happening right here this Phoenix represents the woman see how it's burned up and it's dead here but then it's reborn she's reborn right there and then at the same time all the saints and everything go right up here through this blue cabinet and up to heaven and the white horse begins to ride for World War three and they get this great sword for World War III. This big egg represents a giant nuke hitting the woman. 
See there? It's all a perfect trick and plan. You have to remember that God is, is doing something against the demons and the spirits and everything else. As he redeems the woman and burns everything up, all of the demons are burnt up and the saints and everything set free. But that's what this represents through here. Just as when Jesus saved the whore. There she is. See the beast? See her riding the beast. This is called prospects. This is where all the prospects are. See the Prospect Hill Cemetery? Right here, this guy with like this puppet hat on? There it is, right there. Look at that. See her right there, riding the beast? Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's something I wanted to say about the Bible. It doesn't matter what you think of how the Bible should go about like being right or wrong. You're not realizing that God is at, is at battle with the angels and the powers and the principalities and the thrones positions of heaven. Don't forget it was angels that fell. Lucifer was an archangel and he took one third of the host of heaven with him. God is not fighting us. He's fighting the nastiness that's in heaven. That's what's going on. That's why you see things like this, that the woman gets burned up and taken away, and then the ten horns will be destroyed, is what it does. The woman gets redeemed, all the saints are redeemed, and then the ten horns that are riding the beast are destroyed through there. Remember the ten horns. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. These are ten nations that are getting ready to betray the USA. This glyph hangs in the Denver International Airport. It maps out the end of days coming. See the ten horns over here? And then the USA burned with fire. And then this is the woman. See her? As she's caught away right through the fire. This right here represents Obama and Miss Obama even falling. And the end of grace and mercy. This little doll means the blue Kachina doll of the Hopi legends, which means mercy and grace. And then the red Kachina shows up, the butcher. See him with the butcher parts and the guillotines? The end of the blue, the woman is burned with fire, and then the red rises all through there. There you go. Thank you very much, everybody. This is real and right in front of us all day long. There's the great whore of the Bible riding the beast right there. God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.